All right, Dr. Hoven, this is a uh, change of gear here. The question is, why do creationists say there was no death before the fall of man? If death of cells is part of life replenishing and renewing itself, for example, skin cells die and new ones grow. I think the creationists say there was no death before Adam sinned because uh, the Bible says there was no death before Adam sinned. Romans chapter 5 is real clear on the topic and 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Plus, the Bible teaches in three different places God's going to restore the earth like it used to be. People look forward to the millennium, the millennial reign of Christ, when he's going to wipe away all tears, no death, no suffering. If he's going to restore the earth like it used to be, restore it to what? More death and suffering? But according to his teaching, that's what we had to begin with. That's how we got here. No, God designed the world for there to be no death, no suffering. Uh, there would not have been anything die had Adam and Eve not sinned. Nothing would have died. And uh, we cover much more on that on our video 7 about our plants alive. And no, plants are not alive. It's okay to eat a plant. You don't kill it. Uh, just pry Al Gore off the other side before you do it. But uh, the uh, plants are not living. They don't have a soul. They don't have the blood. They don't have uh, the life of the flesh is in the blood. So plants are not alive. But uh, got off topic here. Read the question one more time. Yes, sir. Why do creationists say there was no death, no death before, sin. before the fall okay. of man? It's quite obvious. If God created a world with death, this is a cruel God. Was, was it God's original plan for the lion to tear the guts out of the zebra and let it slowly suffer and die? And God looked at everything that he made and said it's very good? Today we have a world where the, Romans chapter 8, the whole world is groaning and travailing, suffering and pain. The mosquitoes are going around looking for you, and, but in the meantime, they're terrified that a frog is going to find them. Okay? And the frog, while he's waiting for that mosquito, was terrified a snake is going to find him. And the snake is terrified a hawk is going to find him. And the hawk is terrified a mosquito is going to find him. I mean, it's an endless cycle. Everything is living in fear. That is not the way God made it. And it's not the way it's going to be forever. God's going to restore it to Garden of Eden conditions. And I want you all to join me there. It's going to be a great time. Yes. Um, no, I mean, as I pointed out before in this debate, it's... It would have taken a drastic change of the physical laws to get where we are to today. As I pointed out, the sun's still going to die. You know, was, Jesus, was God continually replenishing the sun so that it doesn't die? There's going to be no night, day, no storms, no earthquakes, no meteorites, meteorites that hit. A complete change. And it just doesn't follow from, from the laws that we have now. Uh, of physical laws and common sense, it makes more sense that it happened before the Big Bang, and that's the universe we have now. We have life on other planets. Most likely in suffering before man came into existence. So that explains that. As far, again, I want to just touch on the Bible uh, before, uh, well, with my remaining time. Again, I would encourage you to go look at my, my history of the Bible, and it has right here, it's 1611 A.D., the King James... Bible printed originally with all 80 books. The Apocrypha was officially removed in 1885, leaving only 66 books. And you can go through and read some of the various publications uh, of that book, of this uh, history of the Bible. Not to uh, discount Dr. Rasmussen's teaching on that Bible, on the Bible, but nevertheless, many Christians use the Bible with all all 80 books, and you can go over the the history here. Hitler, Hitler is not evolution uh, in the same way that the Inquisition is not Christianity. You can't point out one aberration and say, well, you know, that's what evolution is, or evolution couldn't have happened because Hitler uh, used it in an incorrect manner in the same way that we, you can't say that about the Inquisition and Christianity. And by, and Christianity, by the way, evolution is true. We learn about the physical and the spiritual universe. We put them together. We grow in our spiritual maturity in our understanding, understanding science.